When the weekend of footy comes to a close, some rugby league fans like to keep in touch with the sport by watching a variety of rugby league based television programs. Some make us laugh, some are at the round table, and some give us an insight on rugby league as a whole, both on... What are you doing in the middle? You need some decent front rowers. Where are they? I can't see shit. And off the field. Nevertheless, this is Greatest Game of All, and this is our ranking of the 10 best Rugby League TV show segments of all time. Number 10, Kirk's Backyard, The Matty John Show. The one and only season of The Matty John Show, which aired on Channel 7 in 2010, saw Matthew Johns playing a parody of former Australian TV presenter Don Burke by calling himself Don Kirk. He would visit the houses of various rugby league players who were referred to as celebrity gardeners, with the character being prone to accidents and shouting at his cameraman. And come. Oh, come on, Peter. Oh. So hot. I've got tropical <laughs> bowel, Peter. Get the camera off, Peter, you idiot. No, Peter, I'm gone. Peter, I'm stuck like a rat up a drain pipe. Peter, get me a surgeon and cancel the woman day shoot. He would conduct the segment with players such as Jonathan Thurston, Paul Gallen, Michael Ennis, and Robbie Farrer as guests. Peter, get the canister now. I'm rashing between the legs. <laughs> Why? Wish I could smack Don. Peter, where's the air of guard? I could tell you everything you need to know about the mango, Robbie. That'd be great, Don. It's cut. It's cut that. I'm just going to the toilet. Where's Kate? Yeah, yeah, got it. Uncle Jim passed away. We've got his urn there that, that looks long in this head. Don Kirk holding one coming up. No, 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 not Uncle Jim. No, cut Peter. Uncle Jim's up the nose. <laughs> Number nine, that's gold, the footy show. Started and ran by Paul the Chief Harrigan in 2005 on the footy show, That's Gold was a hand action to describe something that made you say, That's Gold. It reached a large audience not only around Australia, but all over the world. Players in AFL were doing it. The last five minutes, here he goes, this is a dead set, oh. That's Gold. <laughs> Politicians were doing it. And that's Gold. <laughs> that's gold. Caught up with the mood and thought, hang on, yeah, That's oh. Gold! And many people in the crowd watching both rugby league and other sports were even doing it. There's some gold and we love that stuff. Fantastic. <laughs> Number 8, Going Going Gone, The Footy Show. With similarities between other segments such as Brain Strain and Mastermind, Going Going Gone was a segment on the Channel 9 footy show hosted by Paul Fatty Vorton in a small game show. Contestants would vary between the panel, celebrities, rugby league players and other sports teams. Some of the categories consisted of general knowledge. Pelatophobia is a fear of what? Pelatophobia. Is that multiple choice? That'd be uh, yoga. Pilates, you know. You should add, it's a fear of bald people. <laughs> Alive or gone. Old dirty bastard, he's a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> it's alive. He's, he's gone. Oh. Sing a song. It's raining man. Hallelujah, it's raining man. Yeah, yeah. Physical challenges and well, other things. Australian animal, which is also an icon. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? That's a wombat! That's, that's a wombat! That's a wombat! wombat. That's a... <laughs> I've never seen a wombat do that. Who do you guys play this weekend? Who is refereeing the game? <laughs> oh. Charades movie titles. Here we go. The Passion of the Christ. Number 7, Props Pantathlon, NRL on Fox. Midweek Wednesday fun for the front rowers on this segment on NRL on Fox, which aired during the late 2000s and early 2010s. Each week, a prop from a certain club had to complete a series of five skills that their team's kicker or playmaker would usually do in a game. They had to kick a 30 meter field goal, a sideline conversion, a 40 20, a chip and chase regathering off one bounce, 
and a cutout pass, whether it was a successful spiral pass to a teammate or passing it through Wendell Saylor's belly. <laughs> you know what, man? He's right there kicking the ball. <laughs> oh, the try scoring machine. Trevor Thurling is in again. But your guts sit pretty big. That was disgusting. <laughs> oh, mate. Number six, small talk with the big man, the footy show. This is comedy gold. The big man Dale Broman did a lot over his time on the footy show, but none will beat his work hosting the segment Small Talk with the Big Man. He would go to junior rugby league clubs and have a conversation with a young team. The conversation would range from footy, to school, to girlfriends, to anything else the big man can think of. The segment concluded with a game of brain strain, where Dale would ask two kids some relatively easy questions, but for the kids, it turned out quite difficult. Goff Whitlam once lived in this area. Who was Goff Whitlam? I'll give you a hint. He's the crime something of Australia. Okay. Geronimo. Geronimo. Yep. Minister. Yeah. Well, give us the whole. What is he? You've got I to don't say. Know if the he runs a shop. No, he doesn't run a shop. No. <laughs> Who is the current Prime Minister of Australia? It starts with T and ends in Earnbull. Malcolm Turin. <laughs> What's the population of Mount Pritchard? Um, 12. Number is 9955. But can you tell me what that is? 9,000 and... 900. 900. And? And 5,000. <laughs> Number five, not the NRL news, Sunday Night with Matty Johns. First airing at the start of the 2016 season of what was then known as Monday Night with Matty Johns, Not The NRL News was a fictional news briefing which used heavily edited footage to create humour out of rugby league players and coaches. Hosted by the ever so popular James the Professor Rockford, the comedy based segment was so successful that the Professor got his own TV show called The Professor's Second Year Syndrome where he was joined by Andrew Barney Barrett. But it was Not The NRL News that made us wanting more of The Professor. You're one of the fastest blokes in the competition. Yeah, he's pretty fast, but uh, you know, I've got more speed than Oxford Street. <laughs> and actually, did you see him at the press conference? I think he's starting to feel the pressure. No, oh, I just stay, stay put. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, Daredevil Dudes, The Footy Show. This was one of those segments that had nothing to do with footy, but boy was it entertaining. Ran during the mid-2000s, Matty Sturlow, Chief and the Fat, would go to visit places around Australia where they would take place in an extreme activity. These included bungee jumping, Oh, nuts. Nuts. Oh, nuts. 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 Rally car racing. Ice hockey. Riding horses. Oh, oh, the nuts. Oh. Whoa. No, that's not, this is not good. This is not good. Sit up there, you're all right. And who could forget the Vomitron, where Chief and Fatty created one of the most funniest footy show moments of all time. Oh. Stop! 
Number three, Fletch and Hindy, Sunday Night with Matty Johns. Seven years and still going strong. Brian Fletcher and Nathan Hindmarsh never fail in making us laugh as the two former rugby league players got up to all sorts of things in their segment of Fletch and Hindy. Coaching their own team than the Paul Donkeys? <laughs> Commentated an NRL match between the Roosters and the Knights. The Knights to kick off, a towering kick. Oh, not, oh, not really, it's only went 20 metres. It's one of those Paddy Richards specials. Had a running race. Dressed up as Pennywise to scare the crew. Oh. Got random appearances by the beaver. Did you say manly? Yes, <laughs> and most recently, the lie detector. Mitchell Moses overpaid. No. Oh, f <laughs> Do you ever fantasise over any of the players' wives or girlfriends? Yes, yes, all the time. Number two, mic'd up on the couch with Sterlo. Probably the best genuine rugby league based segment ever. Mic'd up with a segment on Sterlo, or what's later known as On the Couch with Sterlo, which aired in 2013 on Fox Sports. The segment had a certain player or coach mic'd up for the duration of the match giving fans an inside look on what's being said out in the middle. This was an extraordinary viewing experience for many fans as we got to hear players and coaches such as Jonathan Thurston Ah, no! F you idiot! Ah. When I kick it, give it to a little kid in the crowd, okay? I've got spiders on me! <laughs> <laughs> spiders on me! Paul Gallen Get out of the ball! his hands on the ball, mate! You can see it! Mate, there's no one within five metres of the table. Nah, that's ridiculous. And who could forget Big Willie Mason with his stint with the Knights in 2014? I want it! I want it! Oh, Dugan! What are you doing, you Now, Mason and Carl Stanley. Hey, push me! What's the plans, man? Monday, what is it? And number one, Reg Reagan, The Footy Show. Whether he was on the street. So warm and excited. <laughs> <laughs> what about bloody Gower? What about bloody Hurdler? Hey, what about bloody Pulatua? What's the or talking to the players. Smell that, Freddy? I farted. <laughs> Reg Reagan was arguably the best character on any rugby league TV show. He would constantly complain about how the game has gotten soft and how tough rugby league was back in his day while seeking a few KBs and wearing his famous Bring Back the Biff shirt in protest to encourage more fighting in the modern game. Reg was the perfect character that us rugby league fans can relate to, making him a true rugby league legend and, in our opinion, the best rugby league TV show segment of all time. <laughs> so, what did you think of our list? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, chug us a like on Facebook and this video, follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our channel for more Rugby League Countdowns.